Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map. I'm an old guy gaming in, and in this episode, we are going to hopefully tame ourselves a max level, level 150 Rex. So um, I showed you guys some off-camera highlights, and um, in those highlights, I showed you uh, that I spotted a level 150 Rex, and I'm hoping that we can go locate that Rex and grab it, and it'll be the start of our breeding program for for boss fights uh so let's see what, what to do to get you updated i haven't really done anything more with the base itself as far as you know putting new structures in except for of course as you can see i've built a little pin out here um because i i needed a place to put the wrecks and i went ahead and, and put stega out here too uh, so we have more room inside of the the base other than that, I've really just been gathering resources and, you know, doing all that stuff I showed you in the little opening sequence there. Um, so we have uh, we got ourselves a really nice Mastercraft hatchet uh, out of the deal and some other, some other stuff. And, uh, yeah, so I am mostly ready to go uh, get that Rex. The one thing we do need to do is we need to build um, a trap for it. And uh, I'm going to do... Uh, the 4x4 four four ramp wall trap uh, or doorway trap. So let's grab some stone and some some wood and some thatch. And we want to make... Actually, you don't, I think I already have a foundation in there. So let's just make three more foundations. Oh, we need more thatch. Uh, let's put some of the stone back so we can grab more thatch. There we go. Let's get rid of this stuff here. And uh, foundation. And we just need three more of those. And like I said, I already have one made up. When that's done, we're going to want to make... Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to need, need 16 of these. That's enough to make seven. All right. So we need to make nine more. And what are we short on for that? Stone. No problem. We got lots of stone. Here, let's do this. Let's put these down here. And there's nine more of those. When that's finished, we'll make... Uh, we're going to need four ramps, and I think we'll make those out of wood. We don't need to make those out of stone. Oh, I guess I made the first ones out of vanilla, but it doesn't matter. With the builder's helmet, we can pick anything up. Uh, they might look a little bit different, but that's all right. Excuse me. I'm kind of tired. It's been a long day. It's been a good day, but just a long day. All right. So we have a total of 14, uh, or sorry, no, a total of um, 16 walls, which is what we needed there, or doorways, I should say. Okay. Um, let's get rid of this. And then we just want uh, four wooden ramps. And so we need some fiber for that. Let's put the stone back in, grab some fiber out of here. And that'll get us four ramps. Excellent. Okay. We'll put all this stuff back in here. And uh, let's grab our extra uh, foundation. Whoops. Oh, man. I hate it when that happens. Uh, wait. Where do I have that extra foundation? Right here. Okay. So that gives us four foundations, four ramps, and 16 doorways. Okay. Let's see, what else do we need? We have in here uh, nothing. I've got the, I already have the Trank Darts according to Dota X. 150 Rex at four times taming takes 70 darts. Tranquilizer darts with a normal rifle, which is what we have. I've got two rifles here, which should be enough. And I'm also bringing 100 extra Trank arrows just in case, uh, you know, we need that. So we should have plenty of that. Um, I can get all of the levels that I need at four times taming, which is prime meat. Um, so let's just grab 
So with that, take it with us. Uh, I don't have, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't have all of the ingredients that I need to make, um, whatchamacallit, kibble. Uh, but we should be fine with just the prime meat. Okay. Um, so let's also grab some, uh, some uh, fur armor. Those are the only two pieces of fur I have. Uh, so hide is also good for cold. Uh, not as good as fur, but it's better than flak. So we need the boots and the gloves. Okay, that should be good there. Um, yeah, I don't think we need anything else out of here. We already have two, we should have two torches. Wait, we have one torch here. I guess I must have put that torch away. Let's grab one wood, one stone, and one flint so we can repair this torch. Make sure it's uh, in full condition. We got the cryopod to bring the Rex back with us once we get it tamed. Um, I don't think we're going to need any narcotic, but we've got it, so we might as well take it. Also, let's grab this spark powder out of here and put it into here and continue making more gunpowder. Excellent. Okay. What else was I going to do? Um... Is there something else? Oh, yeah, we we're going to get uh, narcotic. I don't think I need anything else out of here. Should probably actually make some... Some um, heat medical brew. Some more medical brew. We got plenty of stuff for it. Oh, that's the other thing I did. I uh, I, I put in a, a, a water line. So let's see. Let's get Grayla down here. I'm a little bit loaded down. Let's give her all the building pieces. Um, here, you just chillax for a second. Uh, so, yeah, I put a little walkway out here, and then I've got water pipes running down there, but of course I have them hidden. Um, so we can't see them, but they are obviously there because we have water, so that's cool. All right, let's go into here. All right, we'll fill this up. Now, the water doesn't go directly into here, unfortunately, though. Uh, so we'll put those in there, and I think, um, yeah, we should it, we should have everything. It should be making medical brew right now. Yes, it is. Okay. So we'll make a few more of those so we have them, and then I was going to grab narcotic out of here. Let's grab the rest of those narco berries, and we'll put those in the preserving bin. And I've got quite a bit of narcotic made up. That does not go in there. So we have a total of 1,232 narcotic. Um, I'll bring like 100 with me, but I'm... I'm or 150 even. I, I'm positive we're not going to need them, though. Uh, not with the, our current settings. I did ask Joe not to change the server until I can get this 150 Rex, just because I didn't want something to happen that potentially could cause a Dino Wipe or something like that. Uh, but once I get this Rex, uh, then I, he's going to tone down the eating interval a little bit more because we all feel like it's a little bit OP. But I just don't want to take any chances of missing out on that, uh, that Rex. All right, so there's a couple more medical brews for us. Um, let's see here. I'm going to put this helmet back on, but we'll take the building helmet with us so that we can pick up the pieces when we're done. Where did Grayla go? She's up there. Let her carry that meat so it doesn't spoil quite as quickly. All right, so let's take stock here. We got warm weather clothing. We got the cryopod, we got extra tranks or, or narcotic. We got 100 trank darts and 100 trank arrows with our uh, journeyman crossbow. We have two rifles that, uh, that are fully repaired. Uh, we have food, we got medical brew, and we got the building pieces. So I think we have everything we need. Pretty sure that we do. Are you. Uh, oh. Let's make 
one more batch of these. I need to get some more jars. Or actually, for, for this kind of cooking, until we get the industrial cooker set up, it actually would be best to just make water pouches. Um, what do I need? I know I need hide, but probably something else too. Fiber and hide. Yeah, let's just make a bunch of these. And we'll just use them for cooking. Alright, so... How about... How many slots do we have in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight. Yeah, let's make ten. That's perfect, too, because there's ten, ten slots inside of the S-plus water spigot. I think there's only four in the vanilla, maybe, something like that. Beautiful. Okay. So we'll put all of these in here. Let's grab the crystal jars back out. And refill those guys up. We'll take a drink of water too. Alright, so once we have um, enough medical brew made up from these 10, so basically 10 more, um, then we will be ready to go. So I will meet you guys en route to the area that we found the wrecks in. All right, so we are uh, at the eastern end of this big canyon here, which is uh, basically goes to the, the middle of our current island there. And I was up at the top of, uh, on top of this ridge, or somewhere real close over here, uh, and there's a little spot that has some obsidian, and I was gathering that. Is that a, no, thought that might have been an alpha carna. And um, and so then I was starting to kind of head that direction. And that's when I spotted that Rex. Of course, at the time I didn't have what I needed to to tame it. So, um, actually, that might be it right there. Let's take a look. Uh, yep, it's a female 150 Rex. Okay, so let's see here. I don't want her bailing off the edge of this ridge. So I think what we'll do is maybe what we can do is set the trap up right here. I want you guys to stay on passive for now. Both of you, right? Yeah, okay. All right, let's grab the four foundations out of here. And we'll just put them right here. Okay, and then we'll grab the, the doorways. Ah, oh, shit. The Rex is already here. Okay. Let's pull it back away from the trap. <laughs> it almost went into the trap of its own accord. Um. Here. Come over. Th come over this way. Seriously, this game never frickin' cooperates, man. Never. <laughs> All right. Um. 
if you're just going to stay there. I need to actually wait for five seconds. The problem with this, though, is that once its torpor gets up, it's going to try and run, and I'm afraid it's going to run over the side of the cliff, but I'm not sure how to get it to move here. I'm really concerned about what it's going to do when it tries to run. Let's get, uh... Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, <clears throat> good. Alright, so let's get it to, to de-aggro, and then we'll finish the wall. There it is. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go back down here. Uh, where's my trap? Here it is. Okay, so finish the wall. Get the ramps on. That should be good enough. Okay, now let's try and lure it back into the trap. Getting it across this bridge is going to be a bit tricky. All right, where'd you go, Rexy? Let's get up high so we can see. There she is. on after us no not over the cliff oh that was close <laughs> that was really close it wants to eat everything in its in its path Is the land bridge? I think it's back. Yeah, it's back over this way. What's it doing? Okay, come on. Oh man, this is such a Fucking pain in the ass. We're letting uh, granite take the licks here. Okay, yeah. We gotta get it across the bridge. And then back over this way. Granite's got 10,000 health, so he's fine. I mean, easy for me to say, right? <laughs> oh, no. Seriously? You've got to be kidding me. 
Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay. All right, Granite, I want you to just stay put. Don't get in the way. This is a delicate operation here. No. Come on, game. Just cooperate with me for once, please. Okay, we got her. Whew. Dang, man. What a pain in the ass. What level is this Dodic? Uh, I can't tell. Here, use this. 15. Shit. Okay, here. Get rid of that. Okay. Everybody just chillax now. Graylet, I want you to land. Get out of the way. Or not Graylet, sorry, Granite. All right. Hopefully the rest of this will go smooth. We'll see, though. This is Ark. You never know. Okay, so it looks like it's now in runaway mode. Maybe. Or not. Okay, so we've put 60 darts in it. Dota Deck said 70, but this hasn't been a constant application, so it might take a little more. We'll see. We're getting close, though. Okay, that was 70 darts. I don't think I've missed once, and they've all been in the head. So she's probably going to go down any moment. I'm expecting. That dodo, uh, Doe Dickers is making me a little nervous. I don't want anything else around this dino. That was 75 darts. There she goes. Okay. Good. Um, let's grab you. And let's grab you. And send you over the cliff. Woohoo! Okay. Want to make sure there's nothing else. Nearby, we had that scorpion earlier. All right, as far as I can tell, it looks to be clear at the moment. Give ourselves another point. I've been pumping fortitude. Okay, and then we need to get this primate out of you. Okay. Come on. Give me the thing to open up the inventory. What the hell, man? 
think it's because of the way she's sitting in the the trap. There we go. All right, I'm going to take a snapshot of these stats. That way we know what the original stats were. Okay, so plus 74 levels, and that should not go down. We shouldn't lose a level from prime meat. I mean, she's already almost 30%. She's only lost two-tenths of a percent, so. Um, and actually, I think it might even have to go down to like 97, 96 before it even loses a level at all. I could be wrong about that, but it doesn't matter because we'll be fine. Um, yeah, but that eating interval is, is a little OP. <laughs> we're we're going to adjust that to make it a little more challenging, shall we say. But this is the first... In fact, this is really the first high-level Rex at all that I've seen on this map. I've seen, you know, probably a dozen 20, 30-somethings, but this is the, it, not only is this, a, you know, a high level, but it's the first max level, so I just didn't want to take any chances of us not getting it. Okay, shouldn't be too long now. I'm going to... Let's do another flyby. And just make sure nothing nasty is around. Um, I used to keep a spreadsheet um, for my breeding program when I played two and a half years ago. And I don't know if I still have that on my computer or not. I probably do. But if I don't, I'll just make a new one. Uh, and I know there's also like apps you can get to, breeding apps. There's a, there's a Xenosaur. Um, I suppose we could go check that purple drop, but uh, no, let's not screw with that. Not. I want to make sure we get this girl up with no issues. That's far, far more important than whatever might be in that purple drop. Chances are it's probably not worth anything anyways. But you never know. Yeah, she's only down 99.6%. So as long as nothing happens to damage her, we will get the maximum 74 levels. Okay, well, I'm going to keep flying around and staying on patrol here. I'll bring you guys back when she stands up. There's some obsidian. We'll grab that on our way out. You stay down there, Therizinosaur. We're going to need to get some of those, too, for our army eventually. What level is that? Ooh, a 140. Dang. Okay. Well, we'll keep that in mind. Um, ideally, we want to get a 150, though. There we go. Our Rex is up. We're going to name her Mother Rex, because she is going to be the mother of our boss army. Excellent. Okay. Well, that started off pretty sketchy, but in the, ended up uh, working out not too bad. Um, okay, so let's go in here. And we'll get this out, and we'll get Mother Rex put away. I'll... I'll screenshot her stats. Um, oh, it actually shows the stats right there. Um, I'm gonna actually take a shot of this. I mean, I'll, I'll I'll get another one too once I pull her back out at the base, but just in case, I'll take a shot of that too. Okay, cool. Very good. All right, let's put our. Uh, builder's helmet back on and take these pieces back apart. Excellent. All right, let's go see if that drop will 
We'll still be there and watch it fizzle out right when we get down there. <laughs> and then uh, we'll run back up here, grab that obsidian, and then head on home with our prize here. Okay, a calico saddle. If we ever decide to tame one of those, then we'll have a saddle for it. I'm not even sure what they're, they're good for. I'm sure they have a use. I just don't know what it is. Oh, look at this. We got ourselves an alpha. Okay. Let's put uh, attack target and let's take it out. Uh, the reason, if it's not already obvious, why I have a granite along is for the mate boost. And, of course, he can help us with this kill. There, There's an Alpha Rex uh, close to our base, too. Um, but it's pretty high level. But at some point, we'll probably go after it. Level 140, almost a max level. Kill all these bugs and get the chitin. All right, what did we get? We got 13 rune stones and a shit ton of prime meat. I don't see a bag on the ground, but it's possible the granite got the Got something. Nope. Okay, so this one didn't appear to drop anything. I think. Let's get up a little higher so I can just see if I can spot a bag. But they're usually pretty obvious. And I don't see it. You don't always get something from them. That's too bad, though. That was a freaking 140. We should have gotten something from it. But I don't think we did unless it's really buried in these bushes here. Yeah, see, we got the, the claw and all that and the runestone, so we definitely got whatever loot it had. So, yeah, that one just didn't drop anything. Oh, that sucks, but it is what it is. Okay. Uh, let's see. Grayla is at 12,000 hit points. Her stamina is good, I think, and her, her melee is over 1,000. Um, So I'm actually giving her movement speed. So I don't, you know... I don't think we, I mean, more health and all that would be great, but she's fine. On health and, you know, 1,000 melee damage, I mean, that's ridiculous already. <laughs> so, I think I'd like to make her a little faster since she is my main bird. All right, very good. Let's run over here and grab this obsidian. And um, then we're going to head back to the base and get the Rex out and get her in the cage. And we'll see what our next maneuver is. Oh, that's right. There's a couple of uh, of honey uh, stones up here, too. The problem with the honey, though, is it doesn't stack, and it really goes bad fast. So I think I'm just going to leave these here and just know that that's where we can get to them when we need them. They're not that far away, especially if we jump on the pteranodon to come out here to get them. We need them. But for whatever reason, our stacking mod doesn't stack honey. Uh, which is a little odd. I mean, it stacks everything else. Why not honey? But it doesn't, so. Yeah, come here. Alright. Over 400 pieces of obsidian. That's not so bad. For anybody that's curious, this is where I'm at on the map here. So the honey's right about on the 30th uh, longitude. 
and maybe 82 lat ish. Yeah, so that's where this spot is. All right, let's head on home. Okay, so we're going to come in here and get our wrecks out. I mean, I could even. I could even keep the Rex in here for the moment, just just to keep it safe. Can I make a cryo fridge? I probably don't have all the stuff I need for that. No, I'm not even high enough level yet to make one. Um, but I mean, this this is going to be good for 27 days. Yeah, there really is no reason, no good reason to take her out because I don't think. I mean, I can take her out and level her up. I don't think that counts towards the breeding stats. I think it's just whatever her her stats are when she stands up. I'm pretty sure. I'm I'm rusty on all that. I'm gonna have to look up look it up again. But so yeah, let's do that. Let's just keep her in storage for now. And if I need another cryopod, I can just make another one. That's not a big deal. We'll just keep her in storage for now. But I do want to look at something. Um, If we look at the first photo that we took. So she went up. She was 7,260 health wild. And then she got up to 9,000. So that's pretty good, I think. Um, stamina doesn't really matter for boss dinos. Because uh, you don't usually uh, ride them. So stamina is not an important stat. Of course, damage is very important. She had 225 wild, and she went up to 354.8. I think that's pretty damn good, actually. So it's really just health and stamina. Those are the main things that matter for boss fighting dinos. Yeah, she has no mutations or anything. Okay, cool. Well, that was a success, you guys. I would, like I said, I was a little bit um, concerned <laughs> at the start of all that um, because you know the, what what could have happened is that when you know if she would have stayed put the whole time, and you know when she got into her, her runaway mode, she could have bailed off the side of the cliff, and then that could have been not good at all. So I'm glad that things worked out the way that they did. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go here. Um, I'm gonna just keep doing some work off camera as you can see i haven't actually got you know uh, finished the roof on here yet but um yeah i'm gonna i'm probably going to work on securing our plateau here um i'm not sure yet if i'm going to put the walls down below to prevent dinos from coming up here or if i'm going to put the walls up above uh, I guess putting them up above, I mean, here's the thing. If we're going to, if we're going to keep dinos out here in the yard, we're going to have to wall the whole thing anyways, because, you know, this keeps bad guys from getting up here, but it doesn't keep our dinos from jumping over the edge. So one way or the other, we're going to have to wall this whole place anyways. So I'm probably going to work on that, um, off camera. And then once that's on, then we're going to come over here and we're going to get started with our actual main base build. Cause that, all that stuff over there is going to, we're going to turn that into a barn. Uh, this is where we're going to actually build here. So we'll see how things go though. I mean, if I spot another max level, you know, a Rex or whatever, then, um, obviously we'll tame it and, and we'll start the episode at that point. Uh, I do want a max level Thera and eventually a UD too, but UD is going to be a pain in the butt. I'm probably going to need help from Joe and Carnath uh, and some of my buddies to, to get a UD, but we'll see how things go. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.